so uh, back to the old camera setup for some reason i i'll i'll, I'll let you know later so uh, more importantly in this episode we're going to talk about uh, ask the north london derby timings and data days here although most of the fixtures have not been uh, released as to when when and what time will be the fixtures so stay tuned for that we're going to talk about some departures as to uh, pablo mari leaving uh how many departures should arsenal fans expect and more importantly why what does that lead to well we have a source which says that arsenal will make minimum two signings and those two signings could be cody gakpo and yuri tillemans why do i believe that why do i want to say that you'll come to know in this episode uh if you see daily arsenal con and the best place to be consider subscribing and uh, hopefully by next week uh the quality of uh, episodes will be fantastic on a consistent basis so we are working on that so let's just jump into the news that we've got so as you can see uh the leaked lineups have actually confirmed that arsenal's match at, uh, at the north london derby will be at 2:30 pm kick off time on a saturday so that's the first north london derby of the season october 1st is when we are going to see it and yes so they say that fixtures aren't out till friday if there uh, there's not delay if they're not delayed uh, so the clubs don't even have them yet but been told that the first north london derby of the season will be a friday 12:30 uh, pm a kick off time so north london derby on a friday afternoon here in india early evening that would be that would be really really um, juicy i'd like that interesting very much interesting and you know what else is interesting me talking about um Ah, no, no, Tavares. So uh, it looks like, as uh, you know, Atlanta. As I already uh, said it yesterday, that Atlanta want to sign him, on a, uh, sign him on a permanent deal. Arsenal do not want to include any uh, 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 any sale fee, just a loan, a probably a dry loan. So we have an update coming in from Alfredo Pedula. He says that an intermediary working on the Nuno Tavares deal to Atlanta is in London to close the deal. Atlanta pushing hard to uh, sign him as soon as possible. So that was Alfredo Pedula. Gian Luigi Longari says meeting in the next few hours between Arsenal and Atlanta. The Bergamo side want to accelerate talks to reach a deal, and now we have a confirmation from Abdella Bulma. Uh, yes, yeah. This journalist from Foot Foot Three Sixty Five, he says that a deal between Arsenal and Atlanta for the dry loan of Nuno Tavares is almost completed. So Tavares will be leaving. Zinchenko and uh, Kieran Tierney will be Arsenal's left defenders uh, for the season. And for the right, I I believe it's going to be Takahiro Tomiyasu and Cedric Soares. With Hector Bellerin, might be moving away. Uh, <clears throat> we we will come to know i'll speak about that also in this episode so stay tuned for that so uh, elliot richardson now elliot richardson who's vice chairman of uh, one football um and advisory board member um yes uh founder of the dugout as well he said that uh, um, arsenal will be clearing the wages same as january uh they say we have a few of uh, of these to do will allow us two more good signings so elliot richardson believes that arsenal will be signing two more players uh two more good signings and if you've seen all the players that arsenal have signed they are uh, coming up with some good kind of uh, background from the previous clubs so they're making some solid signings and we could expect two more solid signings now who are those two signings just keep attention just pay your attention to two names that i will be Uh, talking about in this episode so yep we will we will definitely reveal it for you guys so do not uh yeah do not sleep on that information so moving on so according to gffn lesser city are considering a move for burnt leno so they have two names in their mind albon lafont and of course burnt leno two names for lesser city to replace uh og c nice bound cashwish michael so interesting interesting things but also uh, alex moreno possible departure to nottingham forest so according to alvaro carayan hector balrain's move to real betis could be potential uh, uh, potentially happening and also uh, another source which says that uh, real betis are expecting arsenal to be soft in their asking price for hector balrain so that they get their player 
So players, player has made it clear that he would want to go to only Betis and Betis want him um, and that is how things will move on from there on. Very well. So, uh, as I already mentioned over here that, uh, yeah, Pablo Marie. So, Fenerbahce, uh, well, they have signed a, a player for us. They've, they've signed, a, signed a defender. Uh, I forgot his name. they signed a defender. But it looks like he predominantly plays as a, as a left back. And uh, Fenerbahce could actually, they're still working on signing Pablo Marie. Uh, and he could join with Jorge Jesus. So, this is a report coming in from um, Sir Chan Hamzoglu. So, strong possibilities of Pablo Mari leaving as well. So, Luan Perez, I'm sorry. So, Luan Perez. Yes, Luan Perez. Is a, is a central defender, Luan Perez, but, but plays a, played as a left back for Olympic Marseille last season. 34 games. Could be as a, as a left back and Pablo Mari as a centre back. Would make a lot of sense. Because RMC Sport have confirmed that Luan Perez is departing uh, Olympic Lyon. So, interesting, interesting, interesting update that we could, you know, we could let him go. So, one, Cody Gakpo, two, Yuri Tillemans. Even Fabrizio said uh, that Leicester have not received any proposals so far, but my prediction is that he will end up leaving. Tillemans being, oh yeah, I, I, I spoke about that. So, yes. Tillemans leaving and the idea being that, you know, lots of clubs might be on for him. But uh, Cesar Luis Merlo says Hector Bellerin will soon join Betis after a potential breakthrough emerged, according to him. Uh, yeah, let's see if that happens or not. But more importantly, Leeds, Marseille, Lyon and Sevilla are considering a move for Nicolas Pepe. Arsenal will be more than happy if they could get £25 million in return. Whether they'll get that, that's a huge, huge uh, uh, question. But that's that. So let me know what you guys think about it. Two signings, Cody Gakpo, Yuri Tillemans. I know about the Yuri Tillemans. Most of you guys, is most of you guys have, have, have already said me about your opinions. But what about Cody Gakpo? Is he the player that should be the another winger that Arsenal should look at? Let me know uh, if you have anyone in mind who's young, who's super talented. And of course strong enough to compete with Saka <clears throat> let me know I will be waiting for your comments cheers I'll see you in the next one until then subscribe